The Russian invasion of Ukraine is nearing its third week tonight, and Ukrainians in Colorado are going to incredible lengths to save their families, even braving a war zone. Here's Denver 7's Sloan Dickey. So this is the day after we got them across the border. Michael Weinar just returned to Colorado from Slovakia. They had a night to rest. Um, and recover. Where his family is now safe after he helped them flee over the border from war-torn Ukraine. Yeah, that was really real. I mean, going into a war zone. He walked a hundred feet into the country so many of his family members call home, a home now ravaged by war. As soon as we got them across that NATO border, I mean, we felt so much better. I just felt all this peace and my wife did too. All of his family is in safety, but one, his brother-in-law. They're all safe except for him. He's left in Ukraine because he's 36. Anyone 18 to 65 can't cross the border. Communicating by Facebook Messenger, he says his brother-in-law wants to stay and fight for Ukraine. I'd say it's now turned into kind of like a full genocide of Ukrainians. Now, witnessing the refugee crisis emerging, he's an outspoken advocate for more assistance to Ukraine. I think America can do more, and I think America has to do more because they see, you know, tens of thousands of people getting murdered needlessly. Last week, the United States banned oil imports from Russia as dozens of American corporations pulled out of the country. Weinar says that's not enough. Whether it's NATO forcibly closing the skies, which would be the best option, but if not, then giving Ukraine the planes they need. And if not that, at least some sort of, I don't know, systems of air defense. For now, he will count his blessings. It's just a different feeling to know that the kids are safe and our parents are safe. Knowing the war is far from over. We just wish we could say that for the rest of Ukraine. Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.